What is up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube? That's right. I am Chris Moore, and today I'm talking about The Breaks. What? Not Curtis. We're talking about The Breaks, the VH1 movie that just came on last night. I watched it. I'm reviewing it. Let's talk about it. Ready? In three and two and one. So The Breaks is pretty much about three friends, uh, Nikki, uh, Dan, and uh, Dee Dee, or D-Day, whatever the name is. D. We'll call them Dee. Mac Wiles. And it is about them all trying to make it in the music scene an early 90s hip-hop, right? So therefore, that's our plot. That's a basic thing. Now, this thing is going to have a lot of 90s references, a lot of 90s this, not a lot of 90s that. So let's talk about some good. What I love, what I didn't love about this TV movie. One, what I really did love about it, because it captures the essence and the vibe of the 90s, right? If anybody grew up in the 90s, I grew up in the 90s. I, I knew the hip-hop songs. I knew all that. So I liked it, that the clothes, you know, the style, the slang, everything kind of comes in here. But Sometimes, believe me, you're going to get tired of the word. That's dope. Because they say that's dope a couple of times to the point where you're just like, damn, that's not dope. That's kind of annoying. But yeah, that that kind of is just like, okay, we get that. That I understand that. Now, some things I did like is the music. Because one thing of the 90s is that the 90s had a lot of big hits, a lot of cool hip-hop songs. And I was wondering if they had the, the rights to it. And apparently they did. They played a lot of good hits. Now, granted, you know, you look at the casting, right? Another thing that was pretty great in this uh, TV movie was that the casting. I actually really did like Mac Wild, you know, as a struggling DJ. I liked that the girl that played Nikki. I thought she was actually real strong and confident and whatnot, and I related to her. I thought her the relationship with uh, Dan, I thought it was going to seem awkward, but it actually didn't seem awkward. It actually worked very well in the movie to the point where you're just like, okay, Wood Harris is a fantastic job. Method Man, his very short uh, time in the movie, he actually does a real great job. Uh, I thought it was funny that he was trying to, like, uh, <laughs> Say he hates thugs, you know, uh, but whatever. I just, I just thought it was funny because you, you obviously, if you know Method Man's thing, but yeah, I, I thought Method Man could add a bigger role. Um, a, a lot of things work in here, you know, it touches upon um, how what hip hop is, you know, what it would possibly become, uh, both good and bad, you know, for, for hip hop, you know, a lot of people, especially in this movie and at this time, they didn't think hip hop would be anything except like loud noise and just like nothing, nobody really wanted to play on the radio. So when it actually did become bigger, people were all just going to get on the bandwagon as much as possible, right? It became huge. And I don't think nobody can't deny that in the 90s, I think hip hop was definitely the biggest genre out there, you know, from Biggie and like Tupac, you know, these guys were NWA, you know, these guys were massive, you know, they were the biggest stars in the world, really, especially in the 90s, you know, the clubs, the, the women, the drugs, whatever you want to call it, the shootouts, the drive-bys, they were all great. Right. So pretty much they captured that very well. And, you know, for good and bad, they kind of say, well, for the good, it could be something gigantic. And eventually it does. For the bad, what it would possibly become, you know, it may be something kind of commercialized, something just about getting hits or whatever it may be. And sadly, that is what hip hop has become. You can't deny that. It's not about, you know, their their experiences growing up. It's more about just like, oh, you know, I'm this thing because I got your girl or this girl, whatever. It'd be like it, it's stupid or is a stupid name name dance. It just doesn't work. Right? That's pretty much what it is. If you're a fan of the 90s, this thing is definitely for you. I think it does a very good job at uh, capturing the essence of the 90s, and it's fantastic. You know, the, the casting is good. The, the, the writing is pretty solid. You know, the director uh, directed a couple of episodes of The Wire. So that was, you know, you at least expected some good direction because, uh, you know, uh, The Wire had no bad direction, obviously. Uh, but some negatives that I kind of had into this thing was that, uh, sometimes the music did feel a little bit just like over beating overhead and be like, yeah, get it. Remember these are the hits from the nineties. And I'm just like, I get it. It's the nineties, but we don't have to keep reminding you in every single scene, be like, okay, hit song, hit song, hit song. There you go. Uh, but yeah. And then, uh, some other negatives that it, even though I really enjoyed this, it feels like this was meant to be a TV show, right? Because at the end of the day, this was just a movie. This thing feels rushed, right? Because if this was just a pilot episode television, if this was a TV movie that would link to a pilot episode TV series, then yeah, I get it. But towards the end, it just feels kind of rushed and to the point where you're just like, I don't know what this is supposed to be because there's a lot of unanswered questions to the point where you're just like, well, what happened to this and what happened to that? And just like, I don't know. Uh, you know if there's going to be a TV show, great, because I would love to actually see one and continue kind of talking about hip hop through the 90s. But sadly, it doesn't really... Uh, acknowledge that, but yeah, there it is. I'm Chris Smith. That is my review of the breaks. Go check it out. It's actually quite fun. It's quite well. That's only negative. Also, one last negative. Why didn't they play the breaks? Why? Why couldn't they just play it? I know it was from the '80s, but they could still play it. Come on. 
I, I'm, is anybody else wondering if like they should just put that? That's a negative, goddamn it. But anyways, yeah, check it out. If you're a friend of the 90s, 90s mood, 90s hip hop in general, I think you'll relate to this and you'll have fun. It's pretty good, other than what I just said. But yeah, that's my review. Comment, subscribe, like. I'm Chris Smith. I'm signing out.